Yo, get everyone, it's Joe here again from Story Weaver Games, and uh, over the past couple of days I received a, a couple of uh, messages from uh, Felina, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, uh, regarding outputting a map, and the challenge uh, which they had was that when they output the map, uh, sometimes there are symbols left out here. Now, this map has been constructed so that it has a, a white border, so that if you were to put, say, uh, a mountain right on the edge, like so, and then we refresh the map, you can see most of that mountain is clipped. But what happens if they had uh, sort of, you know, put some mountains all the way out there? Well, you can see that there are some symbols left hanging over the edge of that. Now, here's the deal. When you try to output that to a PNG file or a JPEG file, you'd go File, Save As, and if you just use the normal, say, give me a, 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 a um, JPEG, watch what happens. Actually, I'm going to, just going to click this, the Options button here. Yep, make sure it's not too big. That's good. Click on Save. And the map that you get exported has this clipping here. Now, clearly, that's a bit of a pain in the neck because uh, you would have to go into Photoshop or Paint and manually clip that map. Now, there's an easier way of doing this. What you do is you go File, Save As, and when you go to File Type, choose one of these ones, Rectangular Section. Um, I'm going to select rectangular section at PNG, but I've just realized before I do that, it's a really good idea to turn on your grid to make sure that the corners of the map that you want to export are on the grid lines. These are the standard grids, so that's fine there, and turn snap on. Because when you do that, it's really easy to select the, the exact corners of the map. So we'll go save as, I'm going to rectangular section PNG file. Um, I can click on options and I might actually make that a little bit higher resolution. And if you make sure that this is uh, clicked here, crop image to aspect ratio, you can guarantee that this map will be the correct aspect ratio. Uh, it'll be trimmed nicely. So it'll fit within the width and the height. Um, also, I almost always just out of the box will set that to 100%, even though it doesn't make much of a difference with uh, PNG files, of course. If you are, if you've always got that set to 100%, you're always gonna get a nice map. You did see that I also set that to 24 bits because you want beautiful color. Um, as for compression, um, yeah, I'd go for fast. <laughs> and uh, that's it. So that's the that's a good setup. We'll click on OK. Make sure that we've got the rectangular section bitmap on. And you can see my cursor is snapping to that corner, snaps to that corner, and off it goes. It'll render the bitmap. And there you go. Now it's nicely trimmed. It's perfectly aligned. Um, you don't get the uh, the edges of the map. Um, so that's how you export just the map piece you want. Now you can also use this to focus in on just small parts of the map. Let me just close that off again. There we go. So I could go file, um, save as rectangular section PNG file. And I might call this south section. And I could just say, I only want that part of the map drawn out, just in here. And there you go. So now you can get some zoom in on your maps. So that's a really quick way of um, uh, making sure that your map is trimmed correctly, but it's also a quick way of creating zoom in on your maps. So hope that's a great tip for you guys. Very easy, um, but surprisingly helpful. Cheers. Bye.